Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. Moving on to the next question, dealing with transformations of quadratics. So notice that this is a second video of the same type of question uh, where we're given a graph and then we have to create an equation. So when I'm going through this, I'm assuming that you've watched that first video because at the beginning, I go through a quick general explanation of how we approach these types of questions. And what we want to do is we want to use this kind of format here as a quick review because notice that each of these graphs, they give us the vertex. And so what's nice about that, as I mentioned, is that it automatically gives us the H and K value. And so all we have to solve for then is the A value. That's all that's left. And then we could use that other point other than the vertex that's given to solve for that A value. So starting with uh, part A here, notice the vertex is at negative two and zero. So notice that the H is negative two and then the K value is zero. So all we have to do is solve for that A value. So let's first plug in the H and K into that general format. So we got Y equals A. Uh, x minus negative 2, which is like x plus 2, that's going to be squared, and then we got like a plus 0 over here. Now the plus 0, we don't have to write. And so all that's left to solve for is the a value. We could use this point. This is actually the, uh, the y-intercept. So plugging in negative 4 for y, plugging in 0 for x, uh, work with the bracket first. 0 plus 2 is 2 to the power 2 gives us uh, four. So we end up with negative four equals four a, divide both sides by four. So that a value ends up being negative one. So what's the final equation? Y equals negative x plus two to the power of two. All right, if it's negative one, you could just put a negative in front of the bracket. We don't have to actually write the negative one. Then notice the k value is zero, so we don't have to write that either. So this ends up being the equation here. And then if you want to quickly check your answer, notice from here, the vertex is negative two and zero, right? The H and K value. And then you could plug in zero for X, zero plus two, two to the power two, four times negative one does indeed give us negative four. When you plug in the X value of that point here, you should get the corresponding Y value. And then from there, you could be pretty confident that the answer is correct. Now, what about part B? Uh, here, notice the vertex is one and negative three. H value is one, K value is negative three. Let's solve for the A value. So what we do is we plug in the H value, we plug in the K value, right? All that's left to solve is the A value. And to solve for that, we could plug in the other point, three and five. So we'll plug in five for y and then three for x and we got minus three. And then from here, we just have to isolate for this a value. So we could bring the negative three over, five plus three gives us eight. And then let's actually do this. Let me just show you in steps what's going on. Just so you're not, uh, we're not doing too many steps at once. Three minus one gives us two. Still got to the power of two. Five plus three gives us eight. A two to the power of two gives us four. So we end up with four A or eight equaling four A divided by four. A value ends up being two. All right, so we got all of our transformation values. And so the final equation ends up being two uh, x minus one squared minus three, like that. And just a quick check, one negative three from the vertex form, that's the vertex. Let's plug in three, three minus one, two to the power of two, four times two gives us eight, eight minus three does indeed give us five. All right, so just a couple of more examples where we're given graphs, we gotta create the equations and we're gonna go through a few more examples.